we are going to skate probably the most trash skate park that my area has to offer. I don't really come here often for obvious reasons. I figured today we'd explore it. I don't know if I've actually ever done a video at this park before. It's real close to me as well. Yeah, so this skate park was built probably... I mean, it's been here ever since I started skateboarding, like 17 years ago or whatever. I'm just going to assume that it's been here for like 25 years, 20, 25 years, something like that. Yeah, when this was originally built, it was a full metal skate park, which you don't really see at skate parks these days. I think it was more like a 90s thing where skate parks were being built and they were making them out of metal, especially in the UK, which is just a bad idea. But yeah, over time, bits of this park have been redone. Some of the metal ramps got taken away and then they introduced a couple of wooden ramps, like a mini ramp and a spine, which were okay for the time, but then they've just deteriorated and they have holes in the ramps and they're awful and they've just never been replaced. So that's where we're going to explore today. They still have some of the old metal ramps, which I'm going to skate. Um, and it's kind of sunny. And I know that when these, when it's a sunny day at the skate park, these metal ramps just get extremely hot. There was a rumor years ago that someone fell on these ramps on like a sunny summer day. And they were so hot that um, they got burnt. And then they like sued the council or got compensation or something. But I don't know how true that is. But I've actually seen these ramps on a hot day and they actually do scold you. They are so hot. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit sunny, so it might actually, the ramps might be hot. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to set off there now. And yeah, I'm not really looking forward to the skate, but uh, it should be funny, you know. <laughs> Look at this, what the fuck? Okay, so the top of the hover has got this like bolt sticking out. I think you can see that. That's like a massive health hazard, ugh, health hazard surely. Look at the state of that. Currently sat on the best part of the park, sarcasm. <laughs> This thing could actually be pretty fun if it had good ground. Like I would, I would probably skate this for an hour or two and you know enjoy it. Like I feel like I want to skate the rail, but at the same time I feel like I don't because it just like it cuts short, so you 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 lead to nowhere. Like if you're 50 50, you're gonna have to come back into the bank instead of going off. Yeah, I feel like this is actually probably one of the better parts of the park, which is saying something because it's a bloody metal fun box with a short rail on it.
funny because the council just came and um, drilled in some new screws into one of the pieces of wood that's on the, the flat bit of the mini ramp. As you can see here. And there must have been some complaints about, you know, it flapping up or whatever. But it's funny when you just look at the other side of the mini ramp that like, they've come to drill the wood down on the flat part, but they've happily just like left the other bits of the wood that are just like chipping up and splintering everywhere. So you get when you have a council run skate park. I've just found the next best thing as well. So on this quarter pipe, as I was rolling up it, I could feel something like under my wheels. And I was thinking, what is that? Had a little check and it's like the wood has been stapled with like a big stapler or whatever into the ramp. Like I really hope it's a kid that's come into the park with like a big stapler and like tried to staple the wood or something because if it's the council that have like literally instead of screwing the wood back into like the layer below, they've like tried to staple it in then oh my lord it's even worse than I thought. When I came here this morning, like the intention of making this video was I was honestly going to be like, right, so this is like a fucking awful skate park. I'm going to show you that you can still skate a bad skate park. But I kind of proved myself wrong. The rough ground makes it super tough to skate. Then the wood coming up on a lot of the ramps and stuff, just kind of a kid's falling over and crying, hold on. Some girl's just fallen over and scraped her arm on one of the wooden ramps. So I'm not surprised she's crying. I'd probably cry too, to be honest. But yeah, like the, aside from like, obviously it being hard to skate with the ground and things, it's 10 times scarier because you don't know some of these ramps have like a screw sticking out or whatever, or if there's a piece of wood that you're gonna fall on and that bloody stab you or something. It's uh yeah. I mean, this park obviously isn't very safe to skate anyway. Luckily, there's actually at the minute, there's some funding that's being raised for a new park here. So this will actually be knocked down and then there'll be a whole new concrete plaza built here which will be really good um, and it's something that we, we really do need in Blackpool like this is the, the parks that we have here are so old now like they're all at least a minimum of like 10 years old at this point and um, yeah they're all just pretty bad quality and worn down and really like a lot of the parks that we have were never planned or built properly like they were designed by mostly by people who weren't skateboarders so some of them just don't really make much sense. Like this park doesn't really make much sense from a skateboarder's point of view. Like maybe a biker can have some fun here, but yeah, like no skateboarder comes here and enjoys it. Let's be honest. Yeah, there, but there, again, there is little bits that you could enjoy if the ground was good. Like the flat rails, that little fun box thing. This mini ramp used to be pretty good. Those parts could be enjoyable if the ground surface was a lot better. Quite a tough park to skate and it's quite scary. So yeah, that's as far as I'm going today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.